Joe Beretta, SourceFed. Researchers playing with electrodes and brain stuff over at George Washington University in DC may have stumbled on quite the interesting discovery whilst forging through the gray matter of an epileptic woman. They hooked electrodes to various regions of this lady's brain in hopes to find the origin point of her horrible seizures. And what they think they may have found instead was her brain's on and off switch. The epicenter of consciousness, the place where, if diddled, shuts down awareness, creating a very eerie shell of a person just sitting there like she was body snatched. Or like Spock didn't quite get a good grip on his Vulcan nerve pinch and only kind of got her. Now, before electrical pulses were zapped into her head, the lady was just sitting there reading some sort of literature. But flipped the switch and zip, zap, zop, she stopped reading. Her breathing slowed and she just stared blankly into the nothing. Kind of like Percy after he eats the evil. Until they stopped the electric charge and then she snapped back into reality with no recollection of the previous moment. So, what is this turn off thought hotspot? Well, they think it's the claustrum, which is a thin structure protected deep inside the brain, which would make sense that it is deep inside the brain. I mean, you don't house the eye of harmony in the outer sections of the TARDIS, come on. It's too important. It's responsible for connecting all the craziness together. You, you plant it deep inside where prying space salvage crews can't find it. Now, back in the day, a couple of smarties by the name of Francis Crick and Christoph Koch hypothesized something had to be controlling all the signals going off willy-nilly in the brain. There's just so much going on. Emotions, smells, sights, thoughts, debilitating what-ifs connected to ex-girlfriends of the past. It's all just so much. It's an information superhighway in here, and they thought something needs to collect the madness and organize it. Like a brain conductor controlling a symphony of thought. These two thought it might be the claustrum, and it turns out they may have called it. Now, we lose consciousness when we sleep, but here's the thing. When zapped, this lady remained awake, just And the zap didn't automatically stop her from processing. If she was finishing a thought or a sentence, she would just slow down until she stopped. So cool. I mean, it's exciting because it could be one big step towards understanding us and what makes us tick even more. But be wary because this is just one patient and her brain was far from the norm. On top of her epilepsy, part of her hippocampus was removed, so more zip zap zops will need to invade more brains before hard fast conclusions can be reached. But what do you guys think of all this awesome stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. After that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the annotation for more stories. My name is Joe Beretta.